Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your bonus reading for the month of January. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Sagittarius, this is a new series I'm introducing to the channel. Instead of doing the element bonus readings weekly, I've decided to change that into a monthly bonus reading for each individual sign. So you will each have your bonus individual reading and we're still going to look at love life and advice for you for the month a little bit of everything here for your bonus reading so i hope you enjoy this you can leave messages down below what you think how you like this i will be eliminating the spiritual readings that i was doing um and maybe the singles and i think i'm just going to concentrate on love and generals uh bi-weekly and also this bonus reading so let me know what you think you can leave me some comments so welcome in everybody. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you had a wonderful holiday season and I hope you're having a great new year. So let's see what's going on with Sagittarius at this time. I do say at this time, I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, feel free. Your links to your uh, playlist, general and love are below in the description box, as well as how to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, social media. If you'd like to tip or donate or send a gift, all that information is below in the description box, as well as some of that information will be pinned in the top comment down below also. All right, so Sagittarius, let's take a little look-see here at love for you. Bonus reading for January. So we have number 50. Oh, I wonder if this is the last card in the deck. Consider your foundation. You are being asked to look at how committed you are to love. Hmm. Something about your foundation. If you're in a committed relationship, how committed are you to that relationship and the love, the foundation of love in that relationship? Hmm. Let's see what's on the bottom here. So we have 12, uh, 32. Yeah, that's 32. Look at your pattern in relationships. It requires inner strength to recognize that you need to change or modify your behavior. Wow, okay. So 32 is five, and that is about change. And then over here we had uh, 50, which is five, which is also about change. Wow. So we've got two cards here of change. So something needs to change in the way... Um, in your pattern, in the way you approach relationships, connections, um, how you lay the foundation down in those connections moving forward. Um, however that means for you, or it could be somebody um, you're dealing with, or I, I don't know, that wouldn't make sense. So I'm guessing it's for you, but if you add five and five, that's 10. It's about endings, completions, and then one is a new beginning. So if you're ending something, um, Maybe you need in, you know, maybe you're getting ready for a new beginning. Maybe you need to look at, you know, what was the foundation of that past relationship or relationships and what caused it to crumble or what caused um, the foundation um, not to solidify because of either patterns in the relationships or, um, you know, how you need to either change behavior or actions or whatever here so we're going to clarify all this energy with the tarot hmm. wow it's a big message to come through just for a bonus reading for you sagittarius so again that may or may not be for everybody so please only take the messages that resonate for you or take them how they resonate for you if it's not you it could be somebody else you're dealing with so please keep that in mind it could be past present future energy and also this reading is for sagittarius if you have it in your sun moon rising Venus or Jupiter placements. I forget to say that a lot. And a lot of people question me, you know, is this just for your sun sign? I say, if you have Sagittarius in your chart, and if it's not your sun sign, but you have it heavily in your chart, then yes, you can watch uh, Sagittarius. All right. I do not have any Sag in my chart. Okay. So let's see what's going on. This deck is big. In life for you for this bonus reading for Sagittarius so I just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers those who have reached out for a personal reading sent a gift tip or donated I truly truly appreciate all your support thank you thank you so much I couldn't do it without you guys so thank you thank you so let's see two of Gabriel two of wands that's a that fire energy that's your energy make bold and ambitious Choices, great progress is possible, important relationships with people who share your vision. So 
This is about making plans, decisions for the future, moving forward about something here. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Michael, strong, committed, intellectual, diligent. Time to move quickly, choose logic over emotion, sudden changes. So the Knight of Swords energy here sometimes can be like that reckless uh, energy, can be kind of like a rebel, kind of takes action very quickly without thinking. So you, you know, it's telling you also to stay strong, committed, intellectual, diligent. So whatever choices, decisions you're making for the future, I mean, it could be about anything here because this is the life portion. It could be about relationships. It could be career. It could be anything here. Um, it's to think before you act in making these decisions. Really think them out thoroughly instead of taking quick action that you may regret later. You know, really uh, pay attention on how you're making your choices and decisions, even though you may feel fiery and passionate about moving forward in your choices to also think logically. So, all right. So let's see what's going on here. So let's get advice for you for January at this time for this bonus reading, Sagittarius. So if you knew Sagittarius, you like my style, how I read, uh, my energy, you can check out my channel. If you like what you see, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post, uh, post all my new readings. So thank you. All right. So let's get advice for... Oh, okay. I guess that's your card. Damara, guiding children. You are good at helping, counseling, and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. So, I mean, you could actually have children. Um, and maybe they need help or guidance in some way. Okay. And we have Pele. Divine passion. Be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire? And that's that fire energy. Leo Sagittarius. Fiery passion. Divine passion. What is your heart's true desire? I feel like these are two separate messages. So if you, some of you have children, maybe just work well with children. Maybe uh, your career involves working with children. Um, I think you're on the right path. Or you have great advice you give to your own children. Maybe they're needing that right now. This is also saying divine passion that what is your heart's true desire? I think whatever you're desiring here, whatever choices, decisions you're making forward that you may want to move quickly in for the future, really follow your heart and really think about what it is that you truly, truly want and feel passionate about. Wow. Okay. A lot of big messages coming and I get that a lot with your readings. Sagittarius is some of you may be going through a lot right now or have been through a lot in the past several years all right i'm getting even five to ten years because we have two fives there which equals ten so let's see yeah and as i said that i just opened the deck i didn't show you I had the three swords and the ten of swords so yeah okay <laughs> and if you don't know what that means three swords is about pain hurt and the ten of swords is about a painful ending so my stomach's growling, so I hope you can't hear that. So I need to eat dinner after I do this reading. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Let's clarify here. Look into your pattern in relationship. Look at your pattern in relationships and consider your foundation. So the hierophant. Yeah, so commitments here, marriages for some, commitments, long-term commitments. Um, and it says, oh, yeah. Look at how committed you are to love. And this is about commitment with the Hierophant energy. It's about faith, spirituality, morality, what's do doing what's just and right, structure, that kind of energy. So definitely could be talking about marriage, long-term commitments here. What, whoa. Knight of Pentacles. So something moving very slowly here. But it's stable and grounded, but it moves, it's moving very slowly. Or it could be offer, extending an offer. I feel like if some of you are ending a marriage, because we did have two fives, ten, ending one, new beginning. Ending a, I wouldn't be surprised if the tower came out. But um, if some of you are entering a marriage and considering offering something somewhere else, I think you need to really look at the pattern in the relationship you're just coming out of, the foundation of that relationship, what happened, why it happened. Um, the actions in that relationship, um, that kind of energy. Wow. So that's too many. So let's see. 
the hermit. Yeah, See, need, needed, needing to go within here, finding your way, your light, figuring things out. Why, you know, why did things happen? Um, you know, kind of energy, really trying to figure things out, spending time alone. The emperor. So taking the lead, taking control, taking charge of your life, of the situation here. Maybe somebody was too controlling. But we have the queen of rods here. King or queen, doesn't matter. This is for male, fem female or male, whoever's watching this, king or queen. That's that fiery, passionate energy. Very determined energy. I feel like somebody may have been too domineering or controlling in a relationship. It could be you or the person you are dealing with here. Because you see them kind of um, facing away from each other. So let's get one more. Let's get one more. What is going on? That's two. Oh, my stomach's rolling. Yeah, a lot of conflict, competition, argument, petty arguments. Um, I'm getting like combats, like really going at each other here. Like two like uh, bullheaded people maybe just like going at each other all the time, um, like back like really turned away from each other. So I feel like some of you, yeah, stress anxiety here on the bottom. So I feel like some of you here could be uh, trying to figure out what went wrong in a marriage or a commitment here. Uh, I think you had two people that were too much maybe alike or too bullheaded or too I don't know whatever here stubborn or too controlling or whatever and just a lot of fighting 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 arguing stabbing at each other like all the time kind of energy so if you're moving out of that energy you need to take a look at what caused caused all these fights these arguments these butting heads this uh caused the foundation to crumble the pattern in the relationships like just really learning with the Hermit energy, going within and learning everything you can about what happened. I feel like for some of you, definitely was a long-term relationship here. Might have been on the outs for the past five or ten years um, kind of energy. So before you start anything new, because that Knight of Pentacles is about moving forward, uh, stability. So you need to be stable and grounded, smart, practical, really knowing you know your value, your worth before you can stop moving forward in a new direction and maybe, you know, wanting to offer a pentacle there to someone else. Uh, you need to really go within and do your inner own inner journey work before uh, you can do that. So let's see what this Two of Gabriel and the Knight of Michael is about. Six of Pentacles, that's balance. Balance, equal give and take. But toxic energy here with the devil energy. Yeah, you need to, whatever you're making decisions and rushing forward in, it could be anything. It could be a new career, job. It could be um, moving. It could be anything here. Whatever you're moving, wanting to move forward in, you need to stay balanced and not let toxic energy. Um, and it could be just fear, stress, worry, anxiety. It could be that toxic energy with the devil because that doesn't necessarily have to be obsessions, addictions, and that kind of energy can be the energy of the Nine of Swords, like overrun by stress, fear, anxiety, um, nervous energy, you know, self-doubt and all that kind of low self-esteem kind of energy. You need to be, be balanced here. Eight of Cups. Ooh, something else flipped here in the King of Swords. So... Yeah, I feel like you're walking away from something that's no longer fulfilling for you and wanting to walk towards something more fulfilling. But you need to be level-headed about this King of Swords energy is that energy of having clarity, mental clarity, um, open, honest communication, um, cutting away things not lo longer serving you, and telling it like it is and not taking any kind of BS kind of energy either. Because you got the Knight and the King of Swords here. So it's telling you to be very uh, logical moving forward. You just keep working, you know, slow and steady, wins the race, working, mastering your craft, putting in the dedicated effort, whatever you're moving towards or wanting to go towards um, these plans, decisions that you're needing to make that you're feeling fiery, passionate about, wanting to rush 
ahead quickly. It's telling you to remain balanced. You've got two cards of pentacles. Pentacles are very slow, steady, uh, grounded, practical energy to stay in that energy moving forward. And I don't think you really need to be in the stress, stressed out energy either. Because I think you're walking to something that's fulfilling for you, but I think it's telling you to take your time and just slowly walk towards what you're going for. I, I feel like you may be getting impatient. Like I want it now. I want it to happen like right now. But I think you just have to keep working on it here. All right, so let's see what this guiding children and divine passion is about i think it's two separate messages two of rods again which we have it over here two of wands energy so plans decisions for the future fiery passionate action and now temperance just flew at me sideways that's your energy sagittarius so sideways it's a challenge for you to remain balanced i feel as you're making these uh decisions moving forward when a card comes reverse it's like a challenge so i think you're finding it and the temperance is about patience so it's very challenging for you as you're making these plans and decisions going forward in your divine passion to remain patient and that's coming through a lot so balance and patience is what the temperance card so yeah you're needing here to really really try to um Temper, balance, your energy, and have patience. The world, yeah, closing out a cycle, starting a new cycle here. In the Ace of Pentacles. So again, it could be a new job, could be a new career, or something here. It could be monetary, something monetary coming in. It could be a big purchase. It could be anything like that. Something divinely guided for you. It is coming. It is here. It's divinely guided for you. Your divine passion, whatever it is for you that cycles will close out and this new cycle will start. You just have to have patience and balance. Ooh. Okay. And now we have, we have the Knight of Rods, which just flew on the floor. So again, that's moving forward. A lot of drive, ambition, passionate kind of energy, fiery energy. So again, that energy of moving forward quickly, passionately. It's like you're looking at that pentacle and it's like, <laughs> I could see it. I could see it. The divine energy here is like waving it in my face. It's, it's right there and I'm like going for it, but it's not there yet. So trying here to, um, yeah, you're feeling kind of bored and complacent. The four of cups energy, blah, it's my blah card. It's like I'm bored, I'm complacent, I'm blah. I don't enjoy what I'm doing. I don't like where I am. I just want out. I just want that new pentacle. I want it now. But you need to have patience and balance out your energy because the world is here, uh, which is all about cycles ending and new cycles starting. And it may take a minute, you know, but needing patience here. And that guiding children, I just feel like some of you maybe just have children. Maybe it was from this relationship here. Maybe they're at a time in their life where they need advice, guidance about certain things are going through some could have young children some could have adult children or older children um however that resonates for you if you do work with children then i think you're on the right path so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck so yeah going to a better place here with the six of swords so you will be traveling some of you could be traveling or moving also but moving to a better place with the six of swords leaving past bs behind and just going to a more calmful peaceful place and there's the divine energy. Ace of Swords is always like divine energy to me saying that is the truth of the matter. That is the clarity. It's a brand new beginning based on truth, clarity, aha mo moments, epiphanies, success, victory. You know, you cut away those things no longer serving you and you're moving or going to a better place. Um, not taking any BS, saying it like it is. But, you know, you may feel monetary lack right now or just, again, feel like ick, you know, that you know, feeling like abandoned or left out in the cold, mentally trapped and blocked, you know, blocking yourself it's of your own doing. Um, but we do have the queen of cups and the moon energy here. So, so, you know, that, you know, not seeing things clearly, but needing to listen to your intuition, your high knowing, your gut feelings about things, being in a more loving, caring, compassionate energy, peaceful energy, moving forward, even though you can't see the path clearly when the moon energy, you know, it's 
not to brighten the you know darkness of the moon you know so and there's that like divine passionate energy again wow look at that coming in for you you can't see it in the moon energy but it's there it's coming so just remain peaceful balanced as hard as it may be you know try to get out of your head about it here um you're feeling like abandoned lack you know but the ace of swords is coming in for you that's divine energy saying your new beginning will happen it just may take a minute and you will be able to sail to a better place here for some of you to a better place so be patient all right sagittarius so um i hope that resonated for you and best of luck to you sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel is to always always shine your light